then we're good. Awesome. So here we go again as I'm positioning myself. I'm in the right chair, right? Yeah, we're good. Am I? Yep. Yeah, we're, we're both. both good. We're both good. <laughs> Halfway through, we're just gonna. Have... Okay. <laughs> yeah, we have one chair in the men's house that is not really favorable for this, or it's really not favorable anyone, to anyone's any ears <laughs> ever. We definitely need to get some like WD forty on that. <laughs> anyway, well. Welcome back, everyone. Third podcast. Ooh. Crazy. Uh, I don't know how much people have been tuned in, but that's totally fun. And I think fun to make. So they are fun to make, and we're definitely getting down more and more as we go. We're getting more comfortable with it, just as a whole. Yeah. Uh, talking, figuring it out, body language, which you don't see, but maybe in the future. Yeah, maybe in the future we'll record our faces. We were just talking about that because. I gave Lucas quite the stare before. Yeah, I really wanted you guys to see it. We are both very expressive people. Yes. So maybe maybe in the future we'll add some video to this. Not today, though. Not today. Not today. Today we're going to talk about prayer. Woohoo! So just real quick, we just want to go right to the cate- catechism of the Catholic Church. Um, what is prayer? It is a gift from God to have a relationship with him. Specifically, prayer is the raising of one's mind and heart to God or the requesting of good things from God. But when we pray, do we speak from the height of our pride and will or out of the depths of a humble and contrite heart? He who humbles himself will be exalted. Humility is the foundation of prayer. Only when we humbly acknowledge that we do not know how to pray as we ought are we ready to receive freely the gift of prayer. Man is a beggar before God. Yeah, I mean, that sums it up pretty well. Um, Also, like another, this is also from Catechism. I think this is just beautifully worded. And it's not like what prayer is, but like kind of like a little bit of what prayer provides. So the, the quote is, if you knew the gift of God, the wonder of prayer is revealed beside the well where we come seeking water. There, Christ comes to meet every human being. It is he who first seeks us and asks us for a drink. Jesus thirst. He's his asking arises from the depths of God's desire for us. Whether we realize it or not, prayer is the encounter of God's thirst with ours. God's thirst that we may thirst for him. Which I think is just absolutely beautiful. Um the the whole like relation with it, um, and just you know, it's the one of us thirsting for God mixing in with him thirsting for us and me into one moment, which is prayer, which, I mean, he's always thirsting for us. And we, I mean, we are always thirsting for him, but sometimes I feel like we, like, I don't know, like for me, like, even if you relate it to just general thirst too, like I should drink water when I'm thirsty, but then a lot of times I'm just like, yeah, but iced tea, you know, like I want, I really want to drink some iced tea, even though it's not going to provide the thirst. There's definitely a lot of times where we can like hide our thirst or hide or substitute with something else too, which I think is really cool. Or a lot of us just ignore that thirst. Yeah, it's true. I'll be thirsty a lot and just either forget or be too lazy to get up for water. Yeah, I don't want to drink right now. It's yeah. okay. I'll do it later. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. It's such a beautiful image for prayer. Um, we also wanted to just throw in that the, the Bible quote, um, Matthew 6, 9-13. Yeah. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. What a great like summarization of what we should be including in prayer. It's also the prayer that we were given from our one and only Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus. Come, Holy Father, and Son. <laughs> so, <laughs> with that, with all that prayer knowledge, what it is, where it comes from, um, why we do it, Lucas. What do you do? What does your prayer look like? What's your favorite way to pray? Ooh. So, I'm, I do. I have to admit, I am not one to do like the same exact prayer style. So I, I guess I have like 
few things I lean towards. Um, so something I've been doing recently, which is like praying through um, scripture, like it's just one specific um, like book. And so I did uh, Sirach, uh in the most uh, recent one. I just finished that this past week though. Woo, trying to figure out what I want to read next. So I think I'm going to Ephesians. I want to do something from St. Paul because I feel like he's been like speaking a lot to me this year. Um, so something from him. So I was thinking Ephesians. Um, but there's like different styles. Sometimes I just read just to read it, which I know is not like, it's not really like, it is a form of prayer, but it's like, I'm kind of just reading it as like for the word and not like diving deeper into the message of it. So I feel like I'm going to go on like surface level with it. It's that sometimes, but if you want to dive deeper, a really good way for that is <laughs> Lexio Divino, which um, if you guys don't know what that is, is when you read, you read it, you kind of just sit on like what you read. It's not generally not that long, so you're not going to read more than a chapter when you do Lexio Divino. Um, you sit on what you just read, and then you read it again. And then this time, the second time you read, you you pick out like certain things that spoke to you. So like if there was a specific word, a specific phrase, a verse, any of it, if it's like if it stuck out to you, then you sit after that. Um, and then you pray on like you just pray on that then you pray on like what does this mean like what is what are you trying to be told by the specific thing that was pointing out to you and then after that you pray for thanksgiving for like well lord you are good and thank you for showing me this this is awesome so i do that and then there's also spiritual books and then also i just have my self meditation uh reflection big reflective guy i love just like seeing just looking at myself what can i do better what like what did i what opportunities did i have in a day that i didn't take advantage of that kind of thing and so it's a well it keeps me in check but then also it is able to help me analyze better and so like it prepares me for like if this moment rises up again this is how i act so it's a good way to just reflect reflectively like look at that as a whole and that's that's mostly how my prayer looks a lot of times I'm just, I just like, God, come over whatever I'm about to do and then be with me. Yeah, you, you tend to be a very moved by the spirit kind of guy. Big spirit guy. Yeah, it definitely, that's <laughs> a great thing to, to, to have in you, like the ability to respond to the spirit mm. like that. Um, very powerful. But so. yes, scripture, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Um, it is the living word and it's such a good source, especially for people just starting out. Um, mm -hmm. that's, that was where I went first when I started praying. Um, and it, it's still somewhere that I go very often because it's the root of everything. And there is so much power in like three lines of scripture. Like sometimes the Bible is very overwhelming. It's just, there's so much stuff and it, and it grows even more when you actually meditate mm -hmm. on what the Lord is telling you through that. Um, but for me, um, I move a little bit with the spirit, like in the morning, I definitely have my designated prayer time. I need that or else I'm not going to do it. Um, but I, I enter it and I go, what am I doing today? Um, and I'll either pick up my Bible, my spiritual book, or I'll just reflect. Um, and really just, it's whatever the Lord has for me that day. If I'm like going through something really hard, I will just like automate. I won't even ask. I'm just like, I need to talk to you about this. This is definitely <laughs> something in my life that oh for sure is just I can't I can't think of anything else right now. Um, and sometimes I find myself just talking at the Lord or um, talking myself even, which has definitely been a struggle recently. But I think all in all, I uh, I really try to just like go slow and. Mm -hmm hear what the Lord has for me. Something I've been trying to do recently is, um, well, not super recently. I've, it's been a few months, but I've d gotten into journaling um, mm. because it, it, kinda, it slows my mind down because you have to write. Um, so I'll write like letters to God and ask him what I, what I need. And um, it's actually a great way to, for me to give him thanks because it focuses me because I'll start writing a thank you note and then I can't stop, you know, like I yeah. can't like, there's a lot more control in what you write. So that's been so great for me to do. Um, 
just in the last like eight months, I've filled like four journals of like writing, and oh, it's geez. insane because I'm I don't like writing, <laughs> but like it's the only way that I know how to focus. So that's one of my main methods. Um, Do you write like? So I sometimes journal too. Do you write like, dear God? And then yeah, like, like super too. corny kind of thing. And then you know? like at the end you'd be like, love Lucas or love Steph. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but I used to not do that when I first started. I used to just sure. write, but I found myself not writing to God. I found myself that like I would write to some random audience mm. or to myself. And so to avoid that, I have to, I have to be like very, dear Jesus, your beloved Stephanie. And it's just like very formal um but that's not my whole prayer time you know like sure I, I definitely i go in and i read stuff and i meditate um meditation is also one of my favorite things to do of just to sit there and slowly allow the lord to enlighten me almost um mm-hmm. such a and that's been a really good gift especially reading scripture and the daily readings are so this morning they it just like clicked for me how how much sense they make together because you take something that's you take something outside of the gospels then you take a psalm and then you take a gospel and they're supposed to match and this morning it was just well, it just you guys really the church knows <laughs> <laughs> knows you know, it's in my up. heart it's um, also pretty interesting too like you're like dear god and then like stepping like writing a letter to god which i mean we already talked about in the catechism is about having a relationship with Jesus. Like you would write your friends like letters and right. be like, "Dear so and so, like I just I haven't seen you in a while. I just want to write this letter. You're writing a letter to God, which is like a like relationship kind of thing to do, which is actually means prayers going good. Yeah, <laughs> it's doing yeah. Well. I also wanted to say uh, with scripture too. I and I found this over time. So there's like certain verses that you hear more than others. Um, like the prodigal son is an example. Every, almost most people know about the prodigal son. Like it's just like a scripture verse. But just because you've heard a verse so many times, it's okay to pray on it again because you're in different spots as you do it. And the amount of times I prayed on that, I've gotten something different every single time. Honestly, though, sometimes you're also in the same spot. That, and you get something different, too. Yeah, that can be something that's... I do that, too. I kind of, like, cringe a little every single time someone brings up the prodigal son, and I know yeah. that I shouldn't. Um, definitely something I'm trying to work on. But I'm I'm not, like... I haven't improved since the last time that they said it. I didn't, like, do what the whole point was sure. of learning about mm. it. Um, so it's almost just like, hey, this is still something you deal with. I'm going to say it to you until you don't deal with it anymore. It's true. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of power just with scripture as a whole, too. Yeah, so. you can reread something over and over and over again. But there also are ways that we do not we do not do well in prayer. I feel like there's definitely... It's true. I, I'm a person who gets very distracted. Um, I'll, like, see a squirrel outside my window, and I'll, like, think about the squirrel for 10 minutes. It's true. Um... So, I don't know. Lucas, what are ways that you, like, you personally want to improve your prayer? Oh, wow. Um, I mean, I when I go into prayer, I'm, like, I'm trying to give everything. There's definitely times where, like, it's not it's not a bad thing to pray, like, just of, like, what's going on in your life. But then there's also times just, like, am I praying at this point or am I just, like, reflecting on stuff? Mm-hmm. Am I just, like, this is what's going on in my life. And so it's taken over my mind. And... I don't know if this is just me thinking about it right now or this is me like praying. And more often than not, it's not me praying. It's me just like, yeah. this I can't get off on whatever. It's on my mind. Um, so like distraction, huge. Um, I Something that I, whenever I've been finding myself like to get more and more distracted, I'm just like, whoa, Holy Spirit. I want to, this, this, this time is for you. I'm praying to you, God. Um, realign me and like keep me on track as like best you can I know I'm gonna keep on falling but as long as I just like notice it so I guess like give me awareness so that's like when I when I like go into my prayer time I'll be like Holy Spirit just like keep me focused to you I'm giving this time to you let me truly give this time to you um and it's actually been 
really helpful for like just like aligning in so that's been one way I've been trying to better my prayer time I mean yeah spiritual readings I don't read at all um I think the Bible is like the only book I've read in the past <laughs> I don't know how many years oh no do you want to reveal that uh it's been quite a <laughs> few years so um I don't think I've read a book in college oh my God. <laughs> other than the Bible. Then you're doing it right. So, um, so I've been doing spiritual reading uh, more, which right now I'm doing the uh, Mere Christianity by C.S. Oh, Lewis, which choice. was, uh, well, my sister got it to me for Christmas. And then I'm, I saw it, I'm like, maybe I should actually read this. Last uh, Christmas. That's good. Yeah, last Christmas, a whole year ago, and it took me 10 months before I picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so I've been doing that more. Um, I'm only a chapter in, so I'm not going to say I've been doing great on it, but also, like, you know, I've been reading scripture, which is okay for me not to read my book. <laughs> then, so. It's a good. It's a good thing to be doing, so... Yeah, I mean, I so I guess that's like how I'm trying to better my time. I'm I'm not yeah. totally sure. I I I know like bettering is good. I like I'm trying to lengthen it too, because I feel like I I I'm a busy bee where I love just like I do like one thing after another and I don't really do much rest and I like it like that. And so like, I feel like I cut my prayer time a little short sometimes, and mm-hmm. sometimes I just need to relax. So I haven't. I haven't started doing that, but now reflecting on it right now, I feel like I should do that right wow, now. Wow, what a grace. Wow. How are you, Steph? What? Yeah, um, I definitely also fall into the trap of talking to myself or just like venting to God for the <laughs> whole time. Oh, yeah. And it, that's not prayer. And mm. he he he's happy that you show up. Um, but I think that there's so much fruit, so much more fruit if we don't do that. Um, so I've been trying not to to I'm trying I've been trying not to do that but also to recognize when I'm doing it because that's also really hard to know when you're talking to yourself True. and when you're talking to God um so that's just I think that's been my main my main thing recently also just making sure that I'm I'm present for as much of it as possible because distractions do come but there's also grace and distraction because every single time you come back to the Lord it's like brand new and he's happy that you do that um and he's gonna grace you with that so that's what i'm trying to improve um but we have a uh vibe check vibe check, vibe check. <laughs> all right you ready for this this uh, i feel like it's just straight slap to the face <laughs> um but it's from matthew 6 uh, verse 7 and when you pray do not keep on babbling like Pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Bah, nah. Honestly, like I, I, I don't know. If this is not peppy, but it's like sometimes when like you're praying out in a meeting. At least for me, like I'm like, you know what? Sometimes it's just good to be like concise words, close out. You know, like get the intention in instead. Like I feel like there's always like, I don't know. Like a lot of times when I pray out, I'm just like oh, this is way too short. I gotta add more words to it. And at least that's like, I don't know, so such they should not get. So this is definitely like a slap to the face for me because I feel like I try to just add filler too much. Yeah, and, and honestly, this <laughs> when I read this, it instantly reminded me of the fact that I never shut up and listen <laughs> in prayer. There's never like a moment where, there's not never, but it's really hard to get to that moment where I just sit there and my mind shuts off and it is one of the hardest things to do is to listen to God because it's also, it's a relationship. So mm. we're there to talk to him and for him to speak to us. Um, and that's why scripture is so good. Cause it's, it's an easier way for him to speak to us. Um, and also quiet our minds too. Yeah. And quiet our minds and focus us in um, yeah. because I, more than just trying to get your mind to focus when the rest of your body is everywhere else, your entire body is engaged in scripture because you it's have true. to read it on paper. Um, but yeah, this, do not keep babbling like the pagans. They think they will be heard because of their many words. Wow. Really just want to quiet, quiet our minds when we pray. Mm. Um, so For sure. we also wanted to mention some, some kinds of prayer 
one thing that's super powerful is while prayer as an individual is important, prayer as a group or um, group intentions are also a really beautiful way to pray because Jesus created a community here. He created a church, not just individuals who love him, but individuals who love him together. Um, so James 5.16, therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. I think that's the beauty of the church is that mm. when you're down and in the dumps and when you are not like doing what you're supposed to, someone else's prayer can actually be so much more powerful because we're offering our our lives for each other. I'm I'm trying to be righteous, not just for myself, not just for the Lord, but for my community. So my my, my prayer has that much more power. Hmm. Sure, and also I think there's when you are like down in the dumps, our prayer style, I not might might not be like I guess the most light like filled, um, and like because you're like you know like. A lot of times your prayer is like where's your head at and where you are at as a whole um so sometimes you need someone who's actually in a really good spot who is in a really good relationship with jesus and god and mary and everyone in the whole catholic church and then for them to pray on to you because there's this new light that you haven't seen for a while yeah that's just like casting out man, which really powerful <laughs> Yeah, the, power, the power of friendship mm. and community with other people. We need community. We really do. We do. Um, but that's not to say that that's the only way we should be praying. Um, of course not. God wants to know us personally and without other people because we are individuals, completely unique outside of the church. Mm. But we come together and we just create this awesome, awesome mosaic of, of love. Mm. So some types of prayer if I don't know I used to really struggle with prayer and there's definitely things that I can still do better because there's so many kinds of prayer and where do you even start I guess it's more of it's kind of good that there are so many kinds because it you can fit prayer to how you are as an individual if you like to pray out loud there's vocal prayer if you like to there's there's prayer through song um mental prayer if you're more of a quiet person um meditation I think is one of the one of my favorites just yeah, because it's it, so it's also like of like all the prayer i feel like meditation is like one of the most important and i think it should be in everyone's prayer life as a whole because that is where you are going to be building the most uh relationship with the lord because it's just you and him yeah um and so if there was a focus if you had to focus one Meditation, I would say, is probably the highest on the list. Yeah, I really liked what you said before about going through your day and seeing the places where you did good and the places where you didn't do so good because reflection on just how we live is so important because you can... Prayer can become a new bubble of life. It can become something that's distant from how we act as people. Um, So that's such a good tool to use for meditation because you're meditating on your life and God's action in it. Mm Mm-hmm. Also brings more self-awareness which is also what comes i guess when you like when you as you go in christian maturity something you need to grow in also is self-awareness and what you're doing uh so it's a good way to definitely do that for sure um other things though the church has so many Mm -hmm. ways outside of personal prayer that you can pray adoration is even Adoration and then also prayer and mass. I feel like we can lump that a little bit together. Yeah. Just because Jesus is present in that moment. What a gift those times are because, first of all, you have something to focus on. And that's really beautiful. Like we said before with scripture, you have somewhere for your eyes to go. And it really does help in the long run for for meditation and, and whatever you're doing. Um, but also, Jesus is actually present. And that's awesome. Mm-hmm. And there's like... And when... If you've ever been to Adder, there's a clear difference when you're praying, like, before Jesus comes and then after he comes. Like, um, especially on, like, retreats, you know, you're praying over each other, and it's good. And there's, like, it's, but then once, like, Jesus comes in the room, there's, like, a certain, like, depth and, like, a certain just, like, wealth of, like, just holiness pouring out of people. And, like, you can hear it, you feel in the room, there's just something different. Um, and so, yeah, Adder presence of jesus and everything as a whole that's 
you feel it. You yeah. feel it. There's Gosh. also confession, which leads to contrition, Ooh. which is also a major grace. The ability to be humble in that moment and admit wrongdoing and then claim a pursuit of the Lord in holiness is so is so beautiful because often we often I will want to be better as a person but I'll never say it and I think that the verbalizing of it is so important and especially in confession in that moment that intimacy with the Lord and his forgiveness his mercy being able to just write in, write with him like I am sorry I want to do better I will do better it's such a beautiful prayer and also like on top of that, um, we are taught about forgiveness, um, and you know, forgiveness is hard. It's uh, it's always uh, it's always gonna be hard. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna be hard, but I think a lot of times, um, through like, you know, when you repent and you're asking forgiveness, being able to ask forgiveness actually helps you forgive others, um, which is a really good just grace that like. I don't think it's directly what's meant for. It's like directly meant for you to be forgiven of your sins, but then uh, like something that comes like a an effect that comes for it too is the fact that you start to forgive others more. Yeah, it's it's a great example of what we should be doing. Yeah, because we see it in action and everything. Yeah, something else that is a great way to pray is just to say thank you. Mm. Uh, we can often come with our what everyone calls the laundry list um, of, of requests for God. Um, and he wants to hear that. He wants to hear you. But just saying thank you for what he has done for you because it can be very easy to not realize what he has done for you. And so prayers mm-hmm. of thanksgiving and gratitude are so important to keep us positive and joyful in the sure. message. Um, and also just he deserves our gratitude. Amen. This is he deserves all prayers. All <laughs> praise. Sure. So, does prayer work? So, like, all of this sounds really nice, you know, and especially I found in my initial, like, first, I'm just like, why? Like, I understand, like, prayer. I've never, heard, like, you know, is it actually heard? You know, like, is there, um, does it work? Is there, you know, he says all of this and, like, you feel it, but, a lot of times, uh, like, there's, like, the style where, like, I'm going to put that out there, but it's not going to work. So, prayer doesn't work, right? Almost like doing it as, it, just in case this will work. Yeah, kind of just, like, testing, be like, oh, I'll put that out there. I don't think it'll work, but mm. we'll just see what happens kind mm-hmm. of thing. But, Steph, I would actually like to ask, so how, has prayer worked for you? And if it has, like, how so? Like, what is what have you noticed, I guess? Or... Yeah, the biggest thing that's come out of prayer is a relationship with God that has changed my life. Um, the ability to actually know who my creator is and to know that I have a relationship with him is helpful 24-7. And it's something that has really changed my mindset and my ability in all situations to contemplate and to self-reflect and to just focus myself on the mission in all places that has definitely been the the greatest thing to come from prayer is just the consistent relationship that I now have with the Lord Mm. Um, but recently something that's been coming out of prayer for me I guys it's a dangerous prayer to ask for humility because I promise you like the Lord will make you humble so quick um the day I I prayed for humility instantly just my pride was just shot. It was. It's funny because you don't. Ex- I don't typically expect my prayers to be answered like that. But wow, just completely realized all of the ways that I need to grow and to be better. And it was so beautiful because I know logically that I'm. I'm. I need to be humble, but to actually have something concrete to go with that has been a grace in prayer. Um, but with that. I was getting a little down in the dumps, so I also prayed for the Lord to affirm me, um, and He has really done that greatly 
in, in prayer and also through other people, which is, again, why it's so important to have a community and have people who you talk to about your prayer and who you, not necessarily about your prayer, but you just talk to about the Lord. Um, I've been, when I asked for humility, he made me humble, um, but he also affirmed me when I needed to be affirmed mm. so that I didn't get, I didn't get too, uh, too low. Yeah, too destroyed. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> he destroyed me. Um, but in, in just like such a good way, because he knew that I can handle it. I, the Lord's going to give us what we can handle. Um, and something that I just want to throw in here from Jeremiah twenty nine twelve, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. The Lord... He wants to listen to you. He will listen to you, and he will answer your prayers. Um, so, Lucas, how's Ooh. the Lord answered your prayers? Well, I mean, the, my whole conversion happened by me saying a prayer to him. Um, it was during, like, adoration, and I was just praying to him, and then he came to me. So, I mean, it fully changed my life, and then I've seen just, like, through his acts and, like, praying through him, just through the whole entire conversion, how much I've grown as a person, but actually I want to go like, so we didn't really touch on this, but intercession, which is actually a really, really powerful and beautiful prayer. Um, if you are not interceding for people every day, um, I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, first of all, like it's a, it's a way, um, for us to not be selfish. It's a way of purely praying for those around you which is absolutely beautiful but actually like something that i thought was absolutely crazy so i don't know why i doubt and like i go back to doubt when like i pray about something and i like if it's god's will he'll do it of course um this summer so i was on i was on a i was in an internship a prayer in, it was with spo um we had a prayer meeting outside we didn't have anything this was like a middle like well yeah it was like the middle of, it was in july so middle of covid uh you know not large gatherings everything we had ours but we were all quarantined together as a like, house and there was no place that could like really house us so we had to do this prayer meeting outside the thing is the day before we checked the weather there was a 90 percent chance of rain um and like thunderstorm rain too wow. like it was like um, and so the next, the next morning for like when we were doing morning prayer, which also another prayer, another form of prayer, it's a, that one is up the church and all those who are, you know, the church pray it all the time. Anyway, but we, so we were doing during morning prayer, we had intercessions and we interceded, uh, to pray for good weather, uh, for us to be able to have this meeting outside. And so I, I used to study meteorology. So when you see 90, <laughs> when you see 90%, it's gonna rain. Like that is not a, it might rain, it's gonna rain uh, for sure. Um, and when it came to the actual prayer meeting, it did not rain for the four hours that we were there. Wow. And it the rain came like three hours after we were done. Um, and it was, it was supposed to like, and in my mind, I'm just like, oh, this is so dumb. We're praying for, we're, <laughs> we're praying with weather. We can't control Mother Nature. Yeah, you you know that. Like I, I'm know. just like, it's just not gonna work. But then like, it was perfectly. It was sunny. Honestly, it was a little hot, but I'm not gonna be too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not gonna be too like picky with it. But like that was just an example of like a regular thing a day. But like God willed it, and so He's like, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna make this prayer meeting happen, and it was absolute. Oh, wow! That prayer meeting destroyed me. It was great. I was wow. I was tearing up a little bit. Good time, good time. But yeah, prayers are heard. They are answered. Yeah. Probably keep, also helped you with your bumper. doubt too. Yeah, I mean, I was just like, well, why, why, why am I doubting anymore? Yeah. And also, let me enter in in a deeper sense. I'm just like, wow, God, you do listen. Let me just go all out right now. I just feel so compelled to it. To it. Um, and then also like, so I don't think we, we haven't really talked about, but prayer is a need too. uh, like just as much as you need to sleep, just as much you need to eat and drink, you need to pray. It's, 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 a uh, it's something that keeps you sustained. Um, and I, oh, who said this, but they said on the first day, you'll notice in yourself when you haven't prayed on the second day, 
uh, others will notice when you haven't prayed. <laughs> uh, there's definitely a total difference in mood starting off your day with prayer or just concluding prayer. There's there's such a joy that comes through being like, and talking to God that just affects the rest of your day, or you know at the end of your day, you know, go to sleep happy and everything. Yeah. But it just affects how you interact with people. In exactly, it affects you. And if you're if if there's one thing you can get from this, please pray. This yeah. like it's so so good. It's so good. I can't, I can't touch on how good prayer is for yourself. Yeah, and how just crucial it is for our overall health. Like, True. if you struggle with anything in your life, prayer will help you. It might not cure you of your incurable diseases or problems, but it is a for sure way to start, and it will change your heart, which is, honestly, arguably the most important thing to, yeah. to have in good health. So... Also, in like a non-Catholic terms, you're, it's uh, meditation and spirituality are both on the wheels of for your own like good health and sanity. Um, so it's um, even if, even even outside of the church, they realize you need a time of meditation and to have spiritual belief in your yeah, life. Yeah, you see that everywhere, not even just in Christianity. Yeah, it's a, just a general study. And, I mean, we're in the church, so, like, we'll t- turn it to prayer and that that kind of thing. But just for, so, like, it's not just, like, seen by the church, but seen by everyone else, too, yeah. that this is good. With that comment, though, I do want to make the, um, the point that meditation is not the solution. Prayer is the solution. Don't that's just correct. meditate and self-reflect, but reflect with the Lord. Because he, he's the thing that's helping you, not yourself. So, just want to end with... She's right. Thank you, Lucas. <laughs> um, just want to end with some more, some more of the Bible. Romans 8.26 In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. So, if you don't know what to say, if you don't know how to pray, that's okay, because... A great prayer to start with is, Holy Spirit, help me pray, and he will help mm. me pray. Of course. Well, we've dropped, we dropped a lot of verses today. We did. <laughs> we did our research, guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is all that we have uh, for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time, either in person or through this podcast again. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for tuning in. All right. Goodbye, everyone.